Yeah, I just wanted to uh, show you what I was working on here. I was um, going to put this stuff inside that control box. So I spent uh, about six hours wiring some of this stuff up. So I got these uh, buck converters, these miniature ones, and I wired them up. Now the red ones are the 12 volt coming in, and then the yellow one is 7 volts going out, and I had to adjust this little pod here to get the voltage right. So I did four of those I got two at 7 volt and I got two I made the 5 volt because my fan my fan is 5 volts Then I uh, wired this up. I had these plugs. On the top. Which made it nice because I just uh, soldered the wires onto those little pieces sticking up. But I was afraid it was going to get in the way. Because it's kind of tall here. So I thought, well, I'll put them underneath. I got a little spacers that go in there, and that way I can condense it down a little bit. I got to try to get as much room in this thing as I can. I wired up a couple of these uh, aviation plugs. This one's for the motor. In fact, I got two for the motor. This is the other one for the motor. I got these little connectors on here that go on to this unit. Now, I bought that, that kit. I bought this kit and uh, I go to put this plug in there and it really doesn't fit fit right I put a little mark on there that's the front and I put a little mark on there that's the front but when you put it in there it squishes that squishes that white plastic apart so I used the little pins that came with it and I just put them on the end of the wire and I'm just going to push them in there. I had them in the white piece and like I said it didn't fit right so I'm not going to use the white piece. And then I, uh, I wired this up, soldered the wires right on there. I was going to use, you know, these worked before, these little connectors. But I was sitting there trying them, and they didn't feel like they were going to be secure enough. So I thought, well, let me, let me, wire, let me solder those right on those uh, pins, and that's what I did. And uh, I did this one too. The wires I had sticking off the top. And I put them underneath. And the reason I did that. Was because I printed that. Uh, I 3D printed that box.
Now, actually, that came out surprisingly well. I only had one one error, and that was this surface here is supposed to be the same height as this surface, and it wasn't. And what that surface is is the top of this plate on top is the same height as that blue adjustment knob for the screen. The contrast knob, I guess it is. And somehow when I... I could have sworn that I had that right, but uh, after it printed, it was short. So I got to take an end mill and go in there and just dig it out a little bit. It's not a big deal. Take a little 1 8 end mill and just kind of hand wheel it around there. It's just clearance for that blue knob. But uh, I was, uh, that came out really good. The buttons came out good. Well, I got to make the buttons, but I got the holes for the buttons. And, uh, you know, I had to make clearance for that little white tab thing sticking out there and. But uh, overall, I mean, it came out good. Doesn't quite fit flat. Oh, Jesus Yeah, I was had a phone call. So. Yeah, anyway, that looks pretty good. It, uh, it's got to go down a little bit more. But the nice thing about this is that when I put the bottom on it, you can make a mount so for it to stand up or be on an angle or... or anywhere in between or something else. You know, the, the important thing is to get get this piece in there and working and then the bottom piece that would be nice because you could sit there and hold it in your hand or push the buttons or mount it on a platform or make a mount for it or there's a wide variety of stuff you could do but uh, I got the buttons nice I got them a little further apart than what the stock unit is but uh, yeah it was a lot of work but uh, you know that's sometimes what it takes okay bye